brought to you by IBM. Millions of Americans are bracing for a surge in home deliveries from online purchases between now and December 25th. According to a new survey, 71% of Americans plan to have at least as many packages delivered to their homes this holiday season as last year. But with that comes a threat. Porch pirates, people who steal packages off porches. So how can we protect our purchases? Here to walk us through some essential tips is CNET section editor Dan Ackerman. Dan, thanks so much for being with us. Can you walk us through some best practices for keeping those packages safe on our porch? Especially because everyone is ordering everything online now and it all gets delivered to your home. You're not home during the day, you're at work. You know, what do you do? UPS and FedEx uh, and other delivery services, they at least offer you the option to hold a package at their depots and you can go drive and get it later. Uh, that, that's kind of an extra step of hassle. Or you can redirect the packages, send them to a friend's house, send them to your office. Frankly, what a lot of people do is just have their packages delivered to their offices or someplace where they're going to be during the day and then lug them home. Right. Now, we know that some delivery services such as Amazon offer now something called Amazon Key. How does that work? And is that something that you would advise? Yeah, Amazon really wants you to buy stuff from them and feel safe about it. And, and they, they want to you know, take the whole process from beginning to end. So they have a bunch of options. One of them is this new thing called Amazon Key, where you literally buy a smart lock from Amazon and a smart camera from Amazon. And they come and install it. Uh, and basically, a delivery person can use an app to get access to your house uh, for a minute, basically, just to put the packages inside and leave. And that's when the camera turns on and watches the person. And you get an alert about it. It's very early on in that process. A lot of people say they're not comfortable with it, mm. uh, and that's why they offer something that's, that's probably a little, more, a little more standard, which is Amazon lockers. A lot of stores have these now. Uh, even Whole Foods stores has them now, have them now because Amazon owns Whole Foods, so they'll just deliver the package to the locker, and then you go and pick it up from there. Oh, that sounds good. Now, but if you're not comfortable with any of this sort of Amazon key or UPS Dropbox, what do you recommend? Are there some other apps that you recommend that might help? There have been a couple of startups over the years that offered to basically take your packages get them, you know, have them delivered to the startup, and then they'll bring it to you. A lot of those guys have actually gone out of business. Uh, I find that the easiest way to do it is use something like TaskRabbit, where you hire somebody to do whatever busy work you need done, make a deal with that person, and have them pick up your package and bring it to you whenever you're going to be home. Or sit at your door all day long until it comes. Just wait at the doorstep. I for. mean, this is when I realized that us New Yorkers, we're pretty lucky. You know, we can just put a sign up and say, leave the packages with the dry cleaner down the street if you work out something with the guy there. Or with the neighbor who's retired and always home. Right. Or just buy digital gifts. Get people gift cards and, and codes and downloadable movies and games. There you go. I have a question though. I'm always buying Christmas presents for my kids through Amazon and the boxes come and the kids get to it before I do or they go to the account and they see what I bought. How do you keep your purchases secret from your family yes, members? Yes, when you're sharing an Amazon account, that's what most families do. Uh, you, you can see what you've ordered and where it is and, and delivery stuff. So what Amazon does is, it's not meant for this, but it's a great hack to get around this. Uh, they have have Amazon Household, where you can share your Prime benefits with someone else in your household. So you make a second account, use a different email address, uh, use that shared Prime thing, so you get the free shipping and everything else, and then you can order basically on a separate Amazon account that nobody else knows about. It's your secret orders. That's so good. Now they just have to write on the box, do not open unless it's mom, right? That, that, that's been a problem <laughs> since long before we had online shopping. Absolutely. Dan Ackerman, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Discover how data and AI can transform your holiday retail strategy.